bubble tea. It, it's a drink. Try it out. There's no alcohol in it. Oh. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. From it, just plug that mic on. No. What is it? It's like it's not sweet or something. No, too, too sweet. Too sweet. Okay, let's check. Yeah, we are recording. So, if I didn't put my T-shirt on, where were you? Going? <laughs> yeah, hello, folks. We are here with Tony, and he was uh, shirtless a minute ago, but he put the T-shirt on. So that's a good question. Yeah, I don't know. Probably on your pillow. We start with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vlog at the Zupa. Vlog at the Zupa. I was a boy who was sincere. <laughs> yeah, hello folks. So we are here with Tony who's been on the streets of London for how long? Six months. Six months. What triggered your homelessness? What triggered your homelessness? Mentality. <laughs> In their head. So it was your choice. You, you didn't have to. You decided to be on the streets. All right, can I? I just, I just stay. I, I was born and bred in Northwest London. I was born in Westminster. Right. And. Uh, I was, I didn't have much choice, so I had to go to live in the south, east London. And I knew my health wasn't good for the last year. And there, there is no, there is no way I'm going to die in south London. So I've come over, come over here to die. All right, from, from the people are from not from London, what's the difference between the North and South London? There, there, there is, there's a, it, but you can say about any, any country, there's always a divide. There's always better and worst parts, yeah. right? Is the, the Scottish and English never got on, the Welsh, and it's, it's the same, it goes for every country. We just, all right, so there's a, the, way, the way we pull up. So the southern Londoners don't like the northern and, and, and vice versa. Yeah. And you're not feeling happy down south. No, I'm, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to. I'm not going to die in South London. I, I will not do that. <laughs> All right, so you've so decided. That, that is why. I'm are you myself. feeling like you're going to die? Because that's yes, my health reasons are not good. I oh, started to hear that. What, what, what are your problems? Ah, oh, too many. Too many. <laughs> it seems like a pretty chap to me, but then again, I don't know uh, how you feel really. So let's move on. My friend, have you noticed any, any decrease or increase in tourist numbers after the Brexit? Uh, can, you be, can you repeat that again? Like, you know, the Brexit situation. What's your input? What, what's your thought about the Brexit? I know it's, it's, I, I, I was for Brexit, Brexit. but that, that happened how many years ago? I think about two years ago it was like a, the, the end of it, but it was like five years or seven then, years ago. Then, then we had Covid, and it, that Covid just fucked up the whole world, didn't it? Mm. That was a big thing for everybody. Yeah, 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 just, there wasn't a person on this planet. Like Covid didn't affect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, no, no. I, I, I find it with the. Uh, do you know what? The hospitality. And that, that took a kick in the arms. Right. Hospitality, yeah, I was, I was actually working at that point in hospitality and. I know that the hotels, the restaurants, that was all shut for that time. It was like a new beginning, really, for that industry after. And it, ain't, it hasn't really kicked in yet, has it? How many years is this now? Well, it's a couple of years. But no, since Brexit, 
in high speed 2016. Is that right? Probably, you're right. I can't remember when the referendum took place uh, uh, around that time. Yeah, no, no. Listen, I, I, I don't work for the government. <laughs> the government don't work for me. <laughs> They're all fucking tossers. And Tommy. Like, they all lie. What's Every your... single one of them lies. You don't like the, the, the current government? Oh, no. no, no. What do you think about Rishi Sunak? <laughs> so what do you think? Okay. Yeah, that, that's my opinion. Was there any prime minister that you liked? Liked? <laughs> I I did like. As you, as you get older in life, you kind of you kind of come together with. It. Hey, when you were young, you don't care about politics. But I did like Boris. I did like Boris. You did like Boris. <laughs> he, he, he said he's mine. He's like Donald, Donald Trump. <laughs> he, he just didn't fuck about it. He just got on with the job. And a lot of people didn't like it. <laughs> oh, they found the fun. Yeah. All right, Tony. Uh, and a changing subject. Uh, what what British music do you like? What music do you like? What music? Do I like? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Are we we get anything from? Do you know what oi music is? I don't even know. Oi, say that. Oi, music. It is a uh, it's a skinhead. Skinhead. Oh, okay. You know what skinhead? Yeah. You know what's skinny? Yeah. The bottom skins. Yeah. Is it back in the sixties? So yeah, and uh, he had a, a drive. It was, it, it was like punk. But then I can listen to classical music. But coming back to that skinhead music, was that a bit of a? Because skinheads to me are, a, you know, the. the a bit racist. That was a racist movement, wasn't it? Oh, see, now, that's, that's what gets, it just pisses me. If you, if you dress the way I used to dress, you're classed as someone who's racist. But it, no, it was not it was, it was nothing to do with, with race. It was, it was just a fashion. Was it okay? It was right. And you like the music, but I do know a, a lot of people who are racist, but don't all class us as all racists. So I was given. And was that the movement that was was it born in Britain? Was it was it movement that came from Britain, like punk that was from Camden Town in London? Yeah, in the sixties. In the sixties, came out from Britain, like many other musical genres as well came out. Are there any shops that are still open around here? Hey? Eh? Any shops that are open? Londons. What? Londons. Just keep walking on this side. Okay, good to know. All right, my friend. Uh, let's move on to another question. Do you see, what tourists do you see most like from what countries they come to London now you being on the streets you know it's a, that's a, that's a funny, funny one. it's the German German and American German and American yeah. are, 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 a lot of them yeah okay. well, what I do during the day in two telephone boxes over there that's where I I cross the road. Right. Yeah, we can and, see them. Uh, that's where I put my stuff. So I sit there. Alright, oh, you don't sit here during the day? Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm, I have to move. Uh, eight, uh, before eight, uh, eight o'clock. Oh, they, that, that shop tells you yeah, to move? Yeah, that shop opens, so I have to move. And you keep, you keep your stuff there? Yeah. And you move around during the day? Or? Just back and forth, back and forth. 
but you not sit. You like? Are you begging? I've never begged for. I've never asked for anything in my life. But if, if people wish to give me something, I'll, I'll gladly take it. But you don't like to sit with a cup during. No, the, the, I've uh, never done that. Well, right. Well done. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not I've said this on numerous occasions that I, I have not begged once. All right, that's very unusual for a homeless person not to be a beggar. If well, my mum, my mother always told me, if you haven't got it, you can't go with that. <laughs> if you haven't got it, you can't go without. All right. Yeah, so, um, if you haven't got it, you can't miss it. Right, right. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It's a good English proverb there for, for everybody. That's what my mother brought me up. But there is some days food can it's not not very often that I don't get given food. No? Because you were just given that juice so that doesn't happen. Well, do, you, do, you, do you see that? Yeah, do you? And uh, it's not often but there has been a few days that there has been no food, nothing. Mm -hmm. What do you do when it's raining? Oh yeah, you've got a roof that's around. That's why I'm sleeping here. Right, there's a roof <laughs> here, folks. So you've got a roof above your head, that's yes. all right. Yeah, that's, that's why I sleep here. Do you sleep in any other places? or? Well, I did, in one of them shops over there, mm -hmm. until, it was last week, when the speaking bastard, I didn't realise there was a, another zip on the bottom there, on the sleeping bag. And he came in through the sleeping bag, took my phone and wallet. you kidding me? There was another zip and somebody unzipped your sleeping bag and you had a wallet and yeah. and they did manage to do that when you were asleep at night. Yeah. All right, so you feel unsafe now? I've, I've, I've never been, never been safe. You can't be. Because mm -hmm. okay. there's, always, there's always someone out there. But what, what gets me, it's only another homeless person uh -huh. would rob another person. I see, I see. People walking up and down, they, they won't... They wouldn't entertain that at all. It just... That is the lowest of the low of people. Mm. They could drop off another homeless person. Yeah, well, you're not a typical homeless person. You're quite interesting, that fact that this is kind of your choice of, of life. You said in the beginning that yeah, but we haven't got much. These bags here, that's all I have to buy a name. Wouldn't you want to have a flat and a place to stay? What is keeping you away the, from it? The government, they take too long about it. Are you waiting for like a council flood? A council flood? Oh, you've got no chance. Alright, nothing like I'm that. A, I'm a single man. And, okay. And you've got no, you've got no chance of getting a character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're, they're rather... Right, uh, they're going to give it to, to you know, people off the boat. Alright. Oh, Emigrants. Yeah, they're, they're housing it. They're, they're, they're complaining. Because they're in a hotel. I know there's been a lot of a lot of bad press about the uh, the illegal immigrants now and all that. What's your thoughts about this matter, my friend? It's, uh, it's just it's, it's just crazy, just fucking totally crazy. We we paid the French X amount of millions. 
to, for them to stop the migrants coming over in boats. And the French weren't doing nothing. But they, they took our money. Mm -hmm. right. I would like to see a submarine pop up and just start exploding the pipes. <laughs> but you being on the streets, do you do you meet those people? Uh, do you see the, the it's like a, a they, no? They, if, if you if you go down if you go further down the road, there there is a big group of Romanians or Polish or I don't know where they're from. But it's a big group, and they're they're they they're good. They're, we all keep keep to ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's why I. Just, they keep themselves from themselves. They. Yeah, and yes. yeah, they, 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 whoever they are of the boat, I don't know. But they didn't come in boats. Those is the, the the European migrants from before the Brexit time. And that's right. a different. Yeah, so I, 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 I don't understand. I don't really follow it. Okay. So I just let people get on. Living their life. That's it. All right, my friend. And uh, if there's somebody watching this that knows you or would like to help you, do you have like a phone number or? Uh, or an uh, email that could they could contact you directly? Uh, yeah, they, they, they place me in touch. You hear? Where are we? Can you describe the area? And above your feet. This comes up at Oxford Circus. Oxford Circus, and that's this is where you usually are yeah. located if somebody wants to uh, contact you. Alrighty. And is there anything else you would like to say to in this interview? Not a thing. Alrighty. Well, thanks a lot for this one. And uh, well, I hope not to see you on the streets again. But if I see you, I hope we have an interview and you let me know how you're getting. I don't do that. You don't do that. What do you I, do? I shake your hand. That's a nice, I your hand. nice clean hands. Take care and Thank see you, you soon. Sir. Cheerio.